Now the first time that you open the Active Inspire software, what will happen is a licensing agreement box like this will pop up on your screen. The reason it's popping up is because it's trying to determine what version of the software you need to be running due to the licensing. If you have purchased a Promethean Active Panel or a Promethean Active Board, you will have been given a 20 digit serial code number and you need to type that serial code number into this box here. Of course you're going to read in great detail your licensing agreement and choose to accept the terms of condition. Once you've put the serial number in this box, the grayed out OK button here will turn black. It will become a valid option and you just click OK. And what that does is it then from that instant onwards allows you to run the full professional version of Active Inspire software. If you don't have a 20 digit code, you really only have two options. You can run the, per, run the personal edition here. I don't recommend that in a classroom situation or a teaching capacity. You don't really want to be running the personal edition. That's because the personal edition is a very trimmed down version of Active Inspire. You have very limited amount of tools. You don't have all the resources in the library. Um, it, it's a free version that basically has the basics. Okay, so if you want all the bells and whistles and all of the cool tools, you really want the professional edition. Now, if you've ticked the 60 day trial, you will get the professional edition, the full version of it, but only for 60 days. And basically, each day it counts down, and once you've reached the 60th day, the next day, it swaps automatically to the personal edition. So where, where do you find the serial number? If you've purchased an active panel, you're looking for a white sticker, probably on the left hand bottom corner of the panel frame itself, and there'll be a, a long 20 digit code there. If you've purchased an active board, the sticker is usually on the screen itself, and it's a, it's a bit of a larger sticker, but the serial code is on that as well. Now they've used hyphens in the code, um, that's just to visually help you break it up. You do not need to type the hyphens into this box over here. Once you've ticked OK with that serial code in there, you no longer, um, you should no longer see this box pop up ever again. Okay, and it's as easy as that.